In the past, education was only available to boys. When girls began to be educated, they had to attend all girls' schools. Eventually, schools became co-educational, and this style is the most popular type of schooling today. Recently, though, single-sex schools have made a comeback, and this has raised the question of whether they are actually better than co-ed schools. When boys and girls are in the same class, all is well until they start to experience a range of emotions because of the opposite sex. When this happens, they can lose focus on their goals, and as a result, their studies naturally... Life already has too many distractions as it is, so shouldn't we minimize one of them for the sake of education? Wait a minute. Emotions such as love don't have to be distractions. For many young people, wanting to impress others can actually motivate them to work harder than usual. Their grades improve, and they might even grab the attention of that special someone. Okay, okay, fine. Emotions perhaps could motivate some teens, but remember, all teens have to go through puberty. Their bodies and voices change. Their emotional ups and downs become extreme. Many feel shy or even ashamed during this time, and they can't understand why. A single-sex environment would minimize their discomfort because they wouldn't have to deal with the opposite sex during this challenging time. True, but remember that after students graduate and enter the real world, everything is, well, co-ed. People aren't separated by gender. Single-sex education doesn't prepare students for this. But in a co-ed setting, teens learn how to socialize and interact with one another under adult supervision. School isn't just about learning academic knowledge, it should help them prepare for society as well. For a brighter future, co-education lights the way. Mm, I really don't think so. Why don't we ask some students, what type of school are you attending?